I'm Joan. How are you doing? In this video we're going to be setting up the balance gear, we're going to be putting up the bottom end of the crankcases and we're going to be reinstalling the oil pump and we're going to be doing anything else we can fit into this video. So without further ado, let's do it. Right then, I've read the book and I've read the book again and I've read the book again and I don't really understand it still but I'm going to go for it. So you've got to take this bolt out here, take that bolt out there and take that bolt out there. So let's do that. Let's take this one out first. Ah, this one has a spike on it so it's obviously an alignment bolt. Put that down there. Maybe it will do this bolt here. So that's everything turning on there. I suppose we may as well. Do I need to take this clamp off or not? That's what I'm thinking is I've got this as a shaft going through there obviously. I'm thinking I've got to pull it out and turn this so it's in line with the mark. No, there's a lot of spaces on it where I've got to be careful of. So anyway, let's try it. Not put it out too easy. Don't want to come out there, does it? Ooh. I think we've got the shaft free. I've got to take it all the way out and not let this drop down because it's got a spacer on this end, a spacer on that end, and all sorts of weird stuff inside there. So can I line that up? Does it look like I can spin it? Uh, we're going, we're going. So there's our mark there, it's not quite there yet. <coughs> there we go. I think that's it lined up. shaft back in. Whew. I think that's it. Yeah, put this bolt back in but it does say in the book to put a touch of thread lock on it. So we'll put a bit of thread lock on. Tighten that up. It was our ratchet. 
barely anything. Take this clamp off properly. Come off your bugger, that's it, that's that off. Keep okay, so then turn that back to 3 and 6 to 3 and 9 o'clock like it was. Now put this back on. Like so. Put this bolt back in. Tighten that up. Tighten that one back up. And that's our balance of weight set. Balance of gear, weight, thing, whatever it is. Push drive, shock, bang, crash wallet thing. So, what next? Okay, let's try and get these oil wave pipes on. Two eight, mi two eight millimeter bolts in there. Which is a bit tight. Very tight. Yes, because that's got lock tight on it, that's why. Here okay, so we have a new oil seal that goes just there. We have a bit of a new oil seal that goes just there. And then this can either go that way, which it doesn't want to, so it must be that way. So, we can apply a bit of thread lock to our bolts. A bit of thread lock on that. And just screw them all the way home. I can't find any torque wrench settings for these, probably because they're so small. So I'm just going to go good and tight with a 8mm small spanner. That'll do. And that'll do. Okay, what next? Okay, then we also have these two pipes. Does that go there? Or does it go there? I'll take it goes there. So that goes there like that. Then we could oil up our oil seals. Put one on that. Put one on that. Then this should go into there. What's that one? There we go. Same with this one. Put your new oil seals on. Put a bit of oil on them. Like so. And that's it. And we want our uh, relief valve that just slots into there like so the finally we can put our oil group seal onto there and then line this fork up with that pin So, and I do believe that that is it. Uh, I don't have the gasket for it yet, so I'm just going to put 
this on there for now. Let's put three bolts in it. for now to keep the bottom end nice and clean until I get my gasket so bottom end done okay then so we're going to stop the video there because have it another big problem. Well, I've done a lot of camera to go back to my big mistake but then I thought to myself well maybe this is quite important to let other people know if they're following my video and to help them out from making the same mistake and uh, going backwards by hours and hours time after time. Let me show you where we are now. Yes, we're backing off again. <clears throat> Lovely. More time in the man cave, I guess. Okay then, let me try and explain to you the problem I've had. Let's turn that fire off a minute. Shh. Yes, up here in the uh, East Midlands, we had one hot sunny day. And now it's freezing. So it's all to do with these selector forks again. I don't know if it's just me, but in the book it explains it very confusingly because I've had these forks in I don't know how many different ways. Basically what it is, before I put the engine halves on, I checked all the gears and I only went up to fourth gear thinking, oh yes, first is right, second's right, third's right, fourth's right, then I left it like that. And then yesterday I thought, I'll check it again just to make sure and then when I went to fifth it went into a false neutral and it won't go no more hence we're back to this position but luckily I have worked it out and now I'm getting all six gears properly okay so these selector forks uh, let's start with the small one Hopefully you can see that. It says M5C and the C says for centre. And in the book it starts off mentioning this one. It says on the centre it's got what I just said, C. And that must be facing to the clutch side. So that's what I did. That one's got the L on it. And that one's got the R on it. And it says, both left and right lettering must be pointing towards the sprocket side. Uh, there, goes that way to the sprocket. And then that one goes that way to the sprocket. And then when they're on the shaft, They are obviously not right. So that nipple is at the top and that nipple is at the bottom and the drum is at the bottom. So that cannot be right. So that's the first thing that confused me. Well that's the main thing that's confused me all the way through the build. So I tried to copy off the other engine and that was probably right. Just that I had the gear selector on the wrong way around. 
Here we are, found it. Here's what it tells you to do. And as you can see, that is very dirty. From the millions of times I've read it. It says on the H and J models, which mine is the H model, the fork marked C is the centre fork and must be installed so that the C mark faces towards the right side of the crankcase, clutch side. And there is the C mark, so uh, the clutch is on the right side. So put that to the right side. But first you've got to install the right side in front of that because you have to put that on the shaft and then you have to put that on the shaft and then it says the left fork is marked with an L and the right fork is marked with an R both left and right forks must be installed so that their marks are facing towards the left side of the crankcase drive sprocket side so that's got to go that way first then that's got to go that way first and then that's got to go that way last and it just doesn't work out because you can get those two onto the selector drum but that one is upside down so I thought it must be wrong so I just put it in turn it round and put it in that way yes and it all worked up to fourth gear but then fifth gear is a false neutral and you can't go no further so what I actually did was took it all apart again and instead of facing the centre to the clutch side I faced it to the sprocket side and the other two I faced to the clutch side like so In fact, I don't know what I fucking did. <laughs> You're confused, don't worry. I'm totally confused. I'll tell you what. Let me put this back on my knee. And I'll tell you which way it is. This side is obviously the clutch. Because there's a great big void. And that side is the sprocket. And the centre one on mine with the C mark with the centre C mark is pointing towards the sprocket. And then you see which one this is. That is the L and this is the R. So the L for left is pointing to the sprocket and the R is pointing towards the clutch so basically I have got the left the left with the L mark pointing to the sprocket <coughs> and the center with the C mark pointing towards the sprocket and the R with the R mark pointing towards the clutch and I've had this back on top of the engine and everything worked perfect all the way up to 6 gear so you could either do it that way or copy the book and oh, I'd be very sorry So I just thought I'd better explain all that because it is pretty important, I think. Oh, I can't see with these glasses on. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's been of some use to you. Stay well, stay safe. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah, and if I don't see you on the next one. I'll see you in another life, brother. Down first. Up neutral. Up second. Up third. Up fourth.
Oh, fifth. Oh, no, don't do that. Whew. Oh, six. Down, fifth. Down, fourth. Down, third. Down, second. Down, neutral. Down, first. Yes.